All right. So, listen here, y'all. Okay. This masculine. I just heard dirty dog. <laughs> Oh, dirty dog. Anyway, um, child, this masculine is being very direct with somebody. He is telling somebody exactly what he wants and what he expects in his relationship. And this person does not want a commitment. You know, they it's interesting because he is lonely, though. Like this dude is lonely, but he's going around like, I don't want a commitment and that's true. He does not want to commit to anybody, but he does want to connect with somebody who will commit to him. Now, here's T. The feminine energy who he's talking to is saying the same thing. Like, yeah, I don't want a commitment either. You know, I want my freedom. Something about ice cream cones is coming in here. Um, very random. Um She's like, yeah, I don't want to settle down either. Um, a part of her is telling the truth to see he's he he is surely being honest. He does not want a relationship, but he does want somebody who will commit to him, meaning that this is a woman who will not engage with other masculine energies and definitely will not be intimate with other male energies. Um, now, she is saying she doesn't want a commitment, but. She, she's only being half true with that. She, she does want to, she wants a commitment if somebody wants to commit to her. Let me say that. Um, the second thing here is she is interested in being with somebody who will only be intimate with her as well. Right. Um, I really don't think this guy is going to be intimate with anybody else because let me tell you something. When he meets this woman, they may have known each other for a little bit of time or through somebody else, like a, a, a third party. This guy may have been friends with um, like one of her male friends or um, somebody connected to her past. This could even be like a long, long, long time ex-boyfriend's friend. Okay. This dude ain't going to be sleeping with nobody else because you know what? Don't nobody else want to date him. And by the way, like he doesn't have any options. Like he, he might come off like he does, but truly he doesn't have any options. And also he is emotionally unavailable. So there are going to be times he's just going to be sitting watching television. When the phone rings, he isn't going to answer it. The woman is going to think, oh, he must have company or be with somebody else. The truth is he just like a lazy talker. He don't want to talk. He just don't want to talk. He's like sitting there watching television, watching a game or something. I see him sitting on a couch by himself. He spends a lot of time alone. He will call this feminine energy in when he wants her attention or um, when he wants her like around. And by the way, even when this feminine energy comes around, this man might not talk a whole lot. I don't feel like this person is a big talker. You know, she might be about the house, cleaning, cooking, doing stuff. By the way, this is his house, not their house. She's going to come over, cook, clean, do all of the, anyway, domestic things in this house. He isn't going to talk very much. I don't feel like he talks very much, period. He is going to take her out. Um, but mostly this is just like, I don't, mm-mm. This comes off as a very whack connection. Like the connection is very whack. Um, but he he don't have anybody else. But he also ain't going to commit to nobody either. This man is probably around the age of like, he's between the age of maybe this is an older guy, older as in probably older than you. OK, <laughs> he's like between the ages of like 42 and 46. There's somebody else here. So I, I, I don't even know why I got I don't know why spirit gives me ages, because as soon as they give me one age group, they always give me other ranges. Just 
it's a masculine. He's older than, because I, now I see somebody between the ages of 32 and 35. And then I see somebody who's 37. K is significant in the name. Um, there's a D here that comes up as well. Solomite. Solid, solidite. I don't know. I th isn't solidite or solid something? I don't know what what that is. It sounds like a crystal, though. Anyway, um, keep it moving. This person is not going to be committing to anybody. But but anyway, nobody wants to date him. But the person who's running around the house and acting like his girlfriend, but not being treated like a girlfriend. Now, as far as this woman is concerned, whoever, because I'm, I'm likely talking to you, right, Boo Boo Kitty? As far as the woman is concerned here, um, I want you to know something that's going to happen here. You are probably not going to really catch feelings for this guy. You might... You might try to force them. You might try to naturally allow yourself to feel something for him. But this person is actually going to catch feelings for you. They're going to catch feelings for you before you catch them for him. And, uh, you know, he is. He is still not going to put those feelings into the momentum of beginning a relationship. He's just not going to do it. He literally, he's, he's not going to do it. And when I look at like, why won't he, he is lonely. Like it's nobody in this big house with him. Why won't he, if he's catching feelings, he, okay. He might want to be chased. He is, he might want to be chased, but he also doesn't want to be told what to do or asked what he's doing. He still wants his free. He wants to be in a relationship and still be free. Um, he doesn't want the responsibility to someone else. He doesn't want to have to explain himself at all whatsoever. And that's just like bondage to him. He literally feels like relationships are jail. So as long as somebody is willing to be in a commitment with him without a title or with knowing that this isn't going to turn into like marriage, he's cool with that. He's going to be boring as hell. Like I just, this dude seems boring. I see that he might have two friends at the most. Maybe they play basketball together or watch basketball together quite a bit, but he don't even go. He doesn't really go out. He doesn't. I mean, he'll go out from time to time and go to dinner. I see him standing at a bar looking like a straight lame drinking a drink. He's just, his swag is on zero. I mean, you don't have no swag. You don't talk. You don't want a commitment. You just sit in the house and watch TV all day. I'm trying to look like what if he does have, <laughs> he does have like, um, he, he, he can please somebody intimately very well. So, okay, that might be the draw, but how long is that going to last? I mean, you know, he has all of the proper tools and everything. Like he can, he's going to lay it down, lay it down. You hoes lay it down. Okay. He can do that. But other than that, this person is just, I'm looking at him like, Ugh, why was somebody, anyway, nobody else wants to date him. So go ahead, have your way. Now, when he catches feelings here, um, he's going to become mean. Instead of him expressing himself like, I like you, you know, we should probably make this an official monogamous me and you type of thing. He ain't going to be like that. Instead, he's going to get real mean to this person. He's going to start asking questions that accuse the other person of you know, cheating or spending time with other people, ignoring him. He will increase in his text. That's the thing about him. He doesn't talk a lot, but he will text. He will emoji you down. He will send DMs. He will have conversation over um, messenger, but he, this brother is not going to have, whatever. Knock your socks off. I mean, just, this is just, 
I'm bored even talking about him. That's it for me. I love you.